my name is Beth Lyman. My team and I are honored to have collaborated with a group of nurses, pharmacists, and dietitians, as well as the Ole Foundation and the Feeding Tube Awareness Foundation to provide you with this video. We will introduce you to specific ways to prepare and give medications using the NFIT system. This procedure will apply to all patients of all ages and all care settings. For the past several years, a worldwide safety effort has been underway to prevent patients from accidentally receiving a medication, fluid, or gas the wrong way. The series of standards deals with all sorts of connector issues, but the focus of this video is on new enteral connectors, commonly known as NFIT. The NFIT feeding system has new connectors for feeding sets, syringes, feeding tubes, and extension sets. This change reduces the risk of tubing misconnections between unrelated systems. These new connectors are now ready for patient use. I'm Katina Ray, the nursing coordinator for the Enteral Access team. We're going to walk through the procedure for filling an infant tip syringe using a medication cup. If the medication is delivered in a dose cup, it needs to be transferred to an enteral syringe, and the syringe can be prepared two ways. It is important to note that filling the syringe via a dose cup is not the preferred method for filling the syringe. The recommended option is to use an infant medication straw, as I will demonstrate. Connect the infant compatible end of the medication straw to the medication syringe, then insert the straw into the cup. Next, draw up the medication to the desired dose. When using the infant medication straw, make sure there are no air bubbles in the syringe. Air bubbles from the straw may fill the lower end of the syringe. Carefully tap or flick the syringe to remove the air bubbles before disconnecting the medication straw. Once you disconnect the medication straw, ensure there's no excess medication in the moat. Another option is to fill the syringe without an infant medication straw. First, you want to submerge the tip of the syringe into the medication cup after priming the syringe, pulling and pushing the plunger back and forth, and gently pull up the syringe plunger to fill the syringe. Next, remove air bubbles, then flick the syringe or wipe the edge of the medication to remove excess medication in the tip. When filling the infant low-dose tip syringe, be aware that the moat at the tip of the syringe may fill with additional medication. Tap the end of the syringe on a clean cloth or the edge of the cup to dispel the extra fluid. For thicker fluids, use a clean cloth to gently wipe the outside and around the tip of the syringe to remove extra fluid. If the dose will not be administered immediately, place an infant compatible syringe cap on the syringe. Work with your pharmacy to acquire infant compatible syringe caps. Medication administration is simple with the infant system. First, you'll need to twist the infant syringe into the infant medication port or feeding tube port after flushing the tube to make sure the tube is working properly. Next, gently push the syringe plunger to give the medication. After giving the medication, twist the syringe to unlock the connection. Finally, flush the medication port according to instructions, being sure the medication gets down the tube. Thank you. 